Now let us discuss about window object in JavaScript. In JavaScript, window object represents the browser window that is currently displaying your web page. So here window is nothing but our browser window which we are displaying. There are some commonly used methods of the window object. The first method is alert method. Second method is prompt method. Third method is confine method. Fourth method is open method. Fifth one is close method. Okay. These five are the important methods of window object. We can use these five methods directly or with the help of the window object also. So that means we can use alert method as directly with the help of alert. Or we can use window object, window dot alert method. Okay, here out of all these methods, the first three methods, that is alert method, prompt method, and confine method. These three methods are called as dialog boxes. Dialog boxes or pop up boxes. First, let us discuss about the first three methods. They are called as Dialog boxes are pop-up boxes and then we are going to discuss about uh, the remaining two methods. Yeah, an alert box is mainly useful in order to give a warning message to the user. So alert box contains a message which is useful in order to warn the user. Alert box gives only one button called OK. We have to click on the OK button in order to proceed. Let us see the syntax of the alert box. Here we have to use a method called alert method. Alert method is available in window object. Why? Because all these are windows. Pop-ups or dialog boxes are from windows. So window dot alert off. So we have to place some text within the double quotations. Now let's see an example for the alert box. So this is HTML tag, head tag, body section. Uh, we can use script tag either in uh, head tag or uh, body tag. Here I am using script tag within the head section. Uh, so we have to use window object, window dot, yellow tav. So what is the advantage of yellow box? It is mainly useful in order to display an alert message to the user. Sometimes we will get this message. Like uh, your system will be shut down in 10 seconds, will be shut down in one minute, one minute. So this is the best example for the alert box. Okay. Or your battery will be uh, shut down in uh, one minute like that. So control C, control C. Now let us run the program. Let us run the program. So name of the file is dialog. So if you observe here. If we observe here, so this is alert box. This page shows your system will be your system will be shut down in one minute. So the text which is enclosed in double quotation so will be displayed here. And uh, we have OK button. So we need to click on the OK button. So whenever we click on the OK button, then this button will be invisible. Okay. So click on the OK button then this button will be invisible. So this is the advantage of the alert box. So by using alert box, we can display an alert message to the user. We can display an alert message to the user. If we click on the OK button, then it doesn't return any value. Okay. Simply this uh, button, this window, this, uh, this window will be, this alert box will be hidden. Okay. So this is about uh, alert box. Now let us see the next one, next box, uh, that is uh, confine box. So let us see the advantage of the confine box. A confirmation dialog box is mostly used in order to take user's consent on any option. So if you want to take any user's option, then we have to use confine box. Confine box mainly contains two buttons. First one is OK button. Second button is cancel button. If the user clicks on the OK button, 
then the method, the window method confine will returns a true. Whereas if the user clicks on the cancel button, then the confine method returns false. Okay. So here the syntax is window dot confine of within the double quotations we need to place some text. Now let us modify the program in place of yellow. Now we have to use confine. So what is the advantage of the confine box? It is useful in order to know the reaction of the user. The best example for the confine box is if you want to delete a file or folder. Sometimes we will get this message. Do you want to delete or not? Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you want to delete or not? If you want to delete a file, then we will get this message. To delete or not? Are you sure? Do you want to delete or not? Are you sure? Do you want to delete or not? Okay. Now let us run the program. So run the program. So if we observe here, if we observe here, so this is the confine box. This page says, this page says, are you sure? Do you want to delete or not? Here, uh, alert box contains only one button called OK button. We have to click on the OK button in order to proceed for the next statement. Whereas, confine box contains two buttons. First button is OK. Second button is uh, cancel button. If we click on the OK button, then it returns a true value. Whereas, if we click on the cancel button, then it returns false value. Okay. If you observe, this is the confine box. So if you want to display that message true and false, then we can do that by storing the uh, corresponding result in a variable. Let us store the result in a variable. Uh, so in JavaScript, we declare a variable with the help of the var. So now the result is stored in A. Now let us display that A. So in order to print the message, we use the write method. Write method is available in the document object. So document dot write off display a okay. So if you click on the OK button, then uh, a contains uh, true. Whereas if you click on the cancel button, then a contains false. Let's see whether it is uh, happening or not. Let us uh, reload the program. So let us reload the program. So if we observe here, here we have a confine box. Uh, just click on the OK button, then it returns true value. So then uh, uh, true will be displayed. Okay. So if you see here, if you see here, we got true as the output. We got true as the output. Now let us reload the program one more time. Here, if you observe here, here we have true as the output. Let us reload the program one more time. Now, now click on the cancel button. Now what will happen? We will get false as the output. Okay. If you observe here. We got false as the output. So this is the use of the confine box. It is mainly useful in order to know the reaction of the user, whether user want to proceed or not. So confine box contains two buttons, OK and cancel. If the user clicks on the OK button, then it returns true value. Whereas if the user clicks on the cancel button, then it returns false value. Now let us see about the next control that is uh, prompt box. Let's see what is the advantage of the prompt box. A prompt box is often used if you want the user to input a value before entering a page. So prompt box is mainly useful in order to read data from the keyboard. So if you want to read data from the keyboard, uh, in JavaScript we have to use prompt box. In C we use scanner function, whereas in JavaScript we have to use prompt box. When a pro prompt box pops up, the user will have to click on either OK or Cancel. So prompt box also contains two buttons, OK buttons as well as Cancel button to proceed after entering an input value. So after entering the data, we need to, cl uh, we need to uh, click on either OK or Cancel button. If the user clicks on OK, then the box returns the input value. Let we enter Ramesh. So Ramesh will be written down. Suppose if the user clicks on the cancel button, then the box returns false value. So if you click on the OK button, 
then the data which we entered will be returned and stored in the variable whereas if the user clicks on the cancel button then uh, prompt box returns null value let us see the syntax for the prompt box window dot prompt off uh, within the double quotation uh, place the text comma here the second argument is optional default text so the default text will be displayed in the text box now let us see how the prompt box will be displayed uh, so window dot window dot what is the box prompt window dot prompt off uh, let us uh, supply the first argument enter your name enter your name enter your name now let's see how we will get the prompt box let us reload the application so if you observe here this is the prompt box this space says enter your name so thus the text will be displayed and after that we will get some text box okay after that we will get some text box next we will, we have two buttons okay button and cancel button uh, if we want we can provide default text here we can provide default text here comma comma let us provide the default text as sachin now what we happen sachin will be initially stored in the uh, corresponding text box so let us run the program so if you observe here if you observe here initially text box contains sachin if we want we can do the modification okay let us do the modification ramesh then if we click on the okay button now what will happen that ramesh will be returned and it will be stored in a and after that what we are doing we are, we are displaying a so if you display a then what will happen ramesh will be displayed if we observe here here we got ramesh as the output okay now let us run the program one more time let us run the program one more time suppose let us assume that we clicked on the cancel button then what will happen if we click on the cancel button then it returns null if we observe here we got null as the output we got null now let us see the next method that is open method it is useful in order to open a new browser window so let's see an example for this uh, let us open uh, a, win a new window so window dot open of open of we have to specify the url which we want to open that window so http dot www dot youtube dot com youtube dot com so if we run this web page then what will happen is automatically the web page will be navigated to youtube dot com okay if we want to run this application if we want to run this program then we have to allow the pop-ups okay uh, let us run the program let us run the program so here we need to pop a block here we need to allow the pop up block then only it will be navigated to the corresponding browser window so this is the advantage of the window.open now let us see about window.close close method it is useful in order to close the current browser window so whenever we use window.close method then what will happen the corresponding browser window will be closed so window.close so the corresponding browser window will be closed so if you run this application then what will happen is the the browser window that is window.html so it will be closed okay it will be closed okay so this is the advantage of the uh, window object so these are the most commonly used methods of the window object in javascript